hello friend this is opening and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to see what is the inheritance in sap app object oriented programming okay so inheritance is a one of the concept of object oriented programming where we have parent class and child class okay and the child class get access of parent class all the attributes and method declared in a public and only protected section only but child class can't access the private attributes or method of parent class okay so i will try to explain you this part with a simple example okay so that you can understand quickly so stay tuned till the end and if you are the first time on my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my next videos okay so let's go to the sap system so i am in my sap system so today we will see how to use the inheritance right what is the inheritance inheritance means we have a parent and class child and parent class relationship okay so let's start so we'll define a class here parent definition okay as you know how to define class right in our last video so we have seen how to define and how to implement a class okay so we'll write the same thing class here one parent implementation okay so use class and class okay so now what we have done we have just defined a class and you have just write a class implementation part okay so now oh, as we already discussed in our last video as well like class can have a public section private section and protected section okay so what is the mean of public section so at so data declare inside the public section can be accessed by this class and the subclass of this class then the sense child class of this class and then other user outside of class so what we will do we will give we will declare some data here data occur variable parent parent this is a public variable we will give it the type as a string okay then we will define a method method we give the data as a parent public okay okay so and now we have a private section of protected section okay so data declare inside data declare inside this uh, protected section data or attributes whatever we will define in the declare inside this uh, protected section can be accessible by this class and the subclass in this subclass uh, class and the subclass of this class means uh, child class of this class okay but not other user outside of this class okay so this is comes under date protected section so we'll define local variable parent here we'll give as a protected type here also we'll give as a string okay and here also we'll define a method same empty parent protected okay and we will define one more section as a private okay so what is the meaning of private section so data declared inside this private section can be accessed only by this class okay not the subclass and the other user okay so this is the difference between all this public section prioritization private section so lv parent private okay type string also we will define a method okay parent private okay so now we have almost declare of our def we have almost done with our class definition part with the attributes like uh, variable and the method okay for each section probably protected and private okay so let's uh, implement each and every method so with the name as so will method use of in method okay again we will write the method then we need, this is a parent protected we need to implement all the method okay in method and again we will give the method the parent will not define will define only these two method okay Okay, we are not going to implement this private method okay this section i have i have used over here in order to show you 
whether we can access this private private variable or not okay the similar thing will applicable for the method as well okay okay so let's implement this method this will copy this have to give parent class public data okay here we will what we will give parent class class protected data okay Okay, so now we have just oh, define our class this is a parent class okay so now we have to use the inheritance what is the inheritance inheritance means the inheritance is the means the uh, child class can access a parent class attributes and method declare in a public and protected section okay so let's do the another class class here yeah. class child definition so now here is the most so point how we can inherit this class using inheriting keyword inheriting from class parent okay and here we have to give end class okay so what does it mean this class can access the all the attributes at parent class public and protected probably and protected section so this part is applicable this part is accessible in this parent class in this child class okay so let's see how we can uh, access this uh, part in this child class okay but we can't access this private section inside this child class okay let's see first we will define the some public section here also public section and uh, here also we will give the some data local variable local variable give the name as a child public type we will also give the string okay and he will give the method give the method child public okay okay so now we have to just implement this class okay so class cl child implementation and here also give end class okay so you can activate okay so now as you can see okay so now we have to just implement this method okay method child public so let's write the implementation part same as it is whatever we have done for the parent class okay so here we will okay so here we guys method public and method okay so what here we do we will just let me activate pretty printer okay so give this child this child data variable here and here we will write child child class public data okay okay now we have this okay so, okay so now we have already discussed this child class can access all the act attributes and method declared inside this public and protected section of the parent class okay right so we have to access this okay so how we can access this okay let's suppose so this so we have to access this so i can we can see this method is also this so inside this uh, inside this para parent class public section right so we, we just call this method inside this method so how we can call method inside this method using call method then we have to give the name of this method parent public okay, okay. similar we will call this protected method also okay inside this class because we already discussed child class can access we can protect attributes of parent class okay so okay so now we use it right so now as you can see here we can use this parent okay so let's give the public 
then we will use as a protected then we will also display this on output okay okay so now check and activate okay sorry okay okay so now let's suppose now we have to access this okay let me implement this thing also so that you will understand method empty parent private okay let me ex implement this thing also in a parent class method empty privilege in method and here it will be parent it's a parent class private data okay okay so what we have done is like uh, we have just created the own parent class in which we have a public section protected section private section definition and the same thing we have implemented here right although and here we have a just uh, child class which is inheriting from class parent okay for uh, that means like child class can access all the attributes and method declared inside the public and protected section of this public and protected section of this parent class but not in a private section okay now as you can see here uh, we have a parent section okay let's see whether we can access this inside this implementation or not not okay so let me use this private section here private variable so let's see now what will happen if i am trying to try to activate now as you can see the field actually parent is and is unknown but there is a field which similar to protected okay so now that means like we can't access this private private variable inside the inside this uh, inside this child class which is inheriting from parent okay because pa inherited because inherited class can access only the public and private protected section okay but we can't access this private section okay so just cancel it okay now we will just see the output okay to see the output what do we need to do we just need to call this method okay in start of session so we'll give the event as a start of selection and what we will do we will just create a object child type refer to in the reference variable and we'll create the object object child and then we will use the object child okay so which other we have to call this public method okay check and activate okay so now what will happen as you can see uh, as you know in our app like uh, app the board will get executed based on the event right so it will go to the start election and it will go to the uh, method public then it will come here control will come here then it will print this thing and it will go inside this one. it will assign a value to this variable and again as you can see here the second method is a protected so it will go inside this parent class protection and assign the values to this here and then control will come here then it will uh, print this thing right private child class let's execute this so you can activate and let's execute this okay so now as you can see parent class public data parent class protected data and child class public data okay or as you can see we are just only calling this child class method okay so this child this child class okay and this class is inheriting this that is the reason we are just we are just displaying this public and protected protected attributes of parent class okay so that is the reason how we and we can't display the protection so let's uh, let me execute this thing so that it's show in a debugger also okay so now we are inside this protected protected section okay so it will go inside and it will just assign the value to here come out then it will go to the parent protected 
then it will assign the value to this here and as you can see here assigning value to here come out and then it will print this thing okay so we have so let's see what is the access of this private data okay so what what is the scope of this private data in this uh, in this child class implementation okay so i'm just here just putting the parent public so as you can see here this method is not invalid variable as you can see here it's reading it a showing as an invalid variable but as you can see for the parent class protected and parent class public we can access right let me delete as you can see public public protected but parent class private variable is not accessible inside this child class okay okay so um, so what is mean inherent inheritance we can access only public and protected attributes but we can't access the private attributes so how to access private access for that we just need to use the friend class friend class okay so how to use the friend class we'll show you in our next uh, videos okay okay so now what we will do uh we will show you one more thing like uh, let's suppose uh, here we have gone parent and protected we will use this private method also from the parent class and let's try to activate now as you can see here we are getting the error as a method empty parent private does not exist there is a however method similar to their thing okay but this method is already exist here right why this error is coming because this is the child class which is inheriting from this class uh, in this parent class so in the parent so this class can access only this public and protected section very attributes but it can't access the private section attributes okay so that is the reason we are getting display we are getting this error message okay let me remove this check and activate okay so this is the output so friends so uh, i hope you understand uh, i hope you understand this uh, how to use the inheritance in the class okay okay friends and if you want to read some more uh, practical theoretical part also so then you may refer to my website the link is also given in the description so go and check it out and uh, over there you may also find the code or if you want the for the practice purpose so you can copy from there okay the code whatever we have written it is a uh, 90 percent uh, similar code okay so you may copy from there okay if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learnsapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out